Oh, okay. Hello, fire sign. I'm getting more calm energy with you guys. Um, the first two readings were so long. Okay, water, air, I'm sorry. I kind of like went in on the chatterbox part, but... So I feel like this reading is not going to be as long. I'm feeling a more calming energy with fire signs. <sighs> Hi, fire signs. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, okay, yes. Give me that fire, baby. Oh, my God. Like, somebody here is exhausted. Pull over. Like, first of all, stop driving. You need to pull over and take a break. Pull over, get some water, uh, because you're about to fall asleep at the wheel. That's for somebody. Um... Like you can't, you need to pull over right now because your your eyes your eyelids are very very heavy. You better pull over and stop watching stop watching TV while you're driving too, even if it is me, whoever the fire sign is I'm talking to. Okay, so this is this is July 31st. Oh my God, July 31st. This energy is fluid, you guys. Fire sign. Don't forget that Aries Leo Saggy. Um, so this energy could have. This energy could be happening to you right now, could have already happened to you, or it's coming in, okay? I'm telling you, you better, you better pour that car over. Anyway, somebody's watching this, and they're, they're very tired. They're, like, barely, like, do you hear the sound of my voice? Like, you're barely, like, you're, like, in and out of sleep. <laughs> someone's watching me. Um, someone's not even watching me. There's a fire sign that's, like, just listening to my voice. You like the sound of my voice? Um, let me stop. <laughs> Okay, Aries, Leo, Sag. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay. <sighs> Shantae, you crazy. Who just somebody said that? Like, man, Shantae, you crazy. You wild. <laughs> Am I? Am I wild? All right, let's go. Fire sign. Ooh, I don't know. When I when I read y'all cards, I just be feeling. I be feeling myself. I be feeling like on top of the world. Like I don't know. Somebody Aries energy. Somebody really feeling themselves. Okay. Overall energy is the. Ooh, we got the. Okay, so this is this is usually people throw the title card in the deck away, but I keep it because of why it stands for a title. It stands for a contract. Okay, it stands for. This is Mars energy though to me because the trumpet represents. Okay, so this wanted to come up in reverse as your overall energy. I am going to be reading reversals just for today because energy is so crazy. Um, but this wanted to come up in reverse. This is Mars retrograde. Okay, so somebody is changing their name, changing their title. Um, you know, uh, somebody is uh, putting something on paper, um, writing out a new contract, trying to start a new contract. I would recommend waiting until after Mars retrograde. Yeah, I wouldn't take any immediate, I wouldn't take any action right now at all. Um, if this is, if you are dealing with a fire sign, uh, sun moon arising i will not take any action i would i would hold off until after mars retrograde and definitely to after definitely if you're putting something in writing if you're putting something on paper i would not make any sudden movements if you are if you are signing a contract if you are getting a title change name change make sure you read the fine print okay make sure you understand every aspect every facet of that contract make sure you know exactly what you are getting yourself into okay before you take this action make sure you know the consequences make sure you know the situation in its totality okay because with with this coming up in the reverse mars retrograde okay i feel like an action that you are going to take an action that you're trying to take it ain't the right time okay or it's going to backfire all right, like, here we go. We got the, right after that card, we got the Justice card in the reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, please chill out. Like, right now, if you are reading, if you think about, okay, if you're going through a divorce, if you're going through a name change, a title change, any type of paperwork, if you're signing something, hold off, please, until after Mars, at least until after Mars goes retrograde, because there's some type of, there's something about the contract there's something about the paperwork that you are, you are unaware of. There's something about the situation that's going to, like, if you sign it right now, there's going to be something that you find out later that you didn't know today right now that you, that you wish you should have known or that you wish you should have waited. I'm telling you, you need to wait. You need to hold off. Whatever paperwork, because you're not, the ju justice is not, it's not going to be yours. You're not, it's not going to go in your favor if you move too soon. Okay, I'm telling you, something needs to be rethought out, resigned, reread. 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And make sure you know your chart because if you have an Aries rising or moon and you don't know that and you're, you're signing paperwork or you're getting a divorce or you're getting your name changed or you're getting a title change or you're, you're buying something or you're signing some type of documentation and you don't know your, your chart, this could very much affect your life forever. This is, this is a major arcana card to me. This is my major arcana, Mars retrograde. Okay, so this is good. This is these are major arcana. So these energies are major. These, this is going to affect your life in a major way. Okay, this might be it might be a very small increment of time that Mars is in retrograde, but how it affects you is on a major scale. So how, this could be with a Libra too. Okay, so you could be trying to making a decision with a Libra. Hold off, hold off. It's it's not gonna work out right now. If you make if you move too soon, I'm telling you, just don't do it. Don't do it. And I, I feel like too, this is someone too. Um, you don't have all the facts. You're being biased. You're not being impartial because you don't have all the information yet. You need to hope. You need to wait. All right. Let's see what. Let's see what you got. Let's see. The star. Yeah. Right now, okay. This is Aquarius rising. You have somebody here is an Aquarius or Aquarius rising sign. All right. This could be you, fire sign with an Aquarius rising. You're dealing with an Aquarius. Someone with an Aquarius rising. I don't care what nobody say. All right, um, there's someone with an Aquarius rising that is very significant to you. Also, too, like I said, don't make any sudden movements because you don't, your mental faculties right now are not at their peak. They're not optimal. You like, also, too, I feel like you don't even feel like you don't even have 100% confidence in your, your abilities right now. So you need to chill. You need to wait. You need to hold off on this Aquarius rising. If you are the Aquarius rising, you need to wait. All right, because I feel like right now you are not a, a, you're not optimal. You don't your your mental faculties. They're not like you're not completely like a, a you know a killjoy, but you're off a little bit. You're a bit you're a little bit rusty. All right, your mental faculties. Okay, your 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 ambition, your passion is a little off. Okay, that Mars, that 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 uh, that get up and go. It's like it's it's um it's being affected. It's being influenced. Okay, especially if you're an Aquarius rising. Especially if you're an Aquarius rising, okay? You have the energy of the four of pentacles in the reverse, okay? So something, I'm telling you, something is being taken away from you. You're going to have to, something, um, this is money. Um, but I feel like um, the four of pentacles in reverse to me, this is, this is someone, someone with a, tor this is someone with a, a Taurus north node, Scorpio south node. Okay, so make sure you know your chart. All right, this is someone with a, this is a someone with a tour with a Taurus North Node. So this is someone who um, this is someone who has a hard time. This is very, this is a very stubborn energy that you're dealing with. This energy is very stubborn. Someone who has a hard time letting go, but I feel like someone I feel like someone here is opening up. Someone here is opening up, or someone someone here you're giving something away, or you're opening up about something. Okay, what else? Let's see what else you have going on here. Okay, the page of pentacles. Some, starting something new, working with your hands. Okay, like the page of pentacles to me is, a, is someone who is like, it's a, tarot, it's a tarot card reader. Okay, like this person is holding the five of pentacles. That's, that's, a, uh, that's the, um, the five of pentacles is the, oh my God, what is it called? It's a seal of Solomon. Okay, so this person's a mystic, but a, a new mystic. Okay, so some, this, is a, this is a young witch, a young mystic. Okay, this is someone who's new at the craft. Okay, this is also too, this is, very, this is someone who's very com competitive. And inventors. This is someone who reinvents themselves. You are. This is you. Try. You're trying to reinvent yourself here. Okay. I feel like. I feel like somebody too has reinvented themselves, or someone is in the process of reinventing themselves. Okay. Or making something. Inventing. Literally, somebody here is. Some. Someone here has a cutting edge idea. Somebody is literally inventing something, building something here. Okay. Or, or starting something new and uh, pioneering something. This is like somebody. This is a pioneer. All right. Page of Pentacles. Okay. But this is someone, this is also Gemini. This is someone who works with their, someone who works with their hands. It's like I said, a mechanic. Somebody too, this is about a car, a title change, a new car, a new vehicle. But this is, you're dealing with a Gemini because Geminis, they rule the hand. Someone here works with their hands. Like I said, tarot. Um, uh, someone here fixes cars as well. Someone here fixes stuff. Someone here's like a, someone here's like a, like a handyman or something of some sort. Okay, but I feel like I feel like too, uh, because you are just starting off, you want to take your time because also too, you could be feeling like because you're just starting off, okay, you don't have all the answers. You don't you could be feeling a little bit insecure about what you know, okay, about the information that you have already gained. But trust me, it's going well. You're just starting off. You're just a page, okay? You're just inventing yourself. You're just this this idea is new. You're just pioneering. Also, too, somebody's getting a, this is a, somebody's getting a car fixed. 
All right, for real. Somebody's working on their car, but I feel like I feel like whoever's working on your car, this is this is like so. <laughs> this this person working on your vehicle, um, Earth sign. This this person is like new at it. So you could be like a, a, a new a new mechanic. Okay, this could be a new job. Let's see. Why is the star card here in the reverse? We have the moon. All right. Like I said, you're being manipulated. Uh, your emotions are being manipulated by Mars energy. Okay. The moon here to me, like I said, Aquarius rising. This is also to Aquarius moon. We have the Aquarius with the moon card. So somebody could be Aquarius moon here. Also, too, this this is the Aquarius full moon. Okay, so this we just had the the, uh, the full moon is still in Aquarius right now. Okay, so this is something happened during the full moon in Aquarius. All right, I feel like there could have been like some type of title change, some type of. But I feel like with the with the title with the contract card being in the reverse is your overall energy. Something is coming to an end, a completion. Okay, but I feel like too, like please do not make any rash decisions right now okay i feel like i feel like you're i feel like you're wanting to i feel like you're wanting to rush into something i feel like you're wanting to do something but it's just like you're being blocked i feel like and i feel like too something was sparked during the aquarius like during this this full moon like some this this full moon is big for you especially you if you if you are an aquarius rising sign or aquarius moon this full moon really like like whatever it is, like something was sparked, like something powerful. I feel like you're opening up here too. Why is the four of pentacles here in the reverse? The emperor in the reverse. Ooh. So you could be letting go. You're letting go of someone. Letting go. You're letting go of a twin. Or letting go of an Aries here. Huh. Someone's getting a divorce or wanting to get a divorce. Somebody is wanting to let go of an Aries. Or somebody could have used this moon magic to wish this person away because you know the full moon is about release. It's about detachment. It's about um, severing something. It's about acknowledging. It's about acknowledging something. Okay, so somebody, I feel like somebody is using moon magic here to release a person, to release a twin, a divine counterpart, a spouse. But I feel like don't make any sudden movements and be very careful what you wish for. Okay. Because when you when you wish upon a star, when you wish upon an Aquarius moon, that's a very powerful moon. Aquarius is a very progressive, future forward, futuristic, anything can happen kind of sign. So when you wish upon an Aquarius full moon, you better be careful what you're wishing for. Because you're you're definitely going to get it and it's definitely going to affect you in huge, massive future forward kind of ways okay the emperor is a major arcana okay so if you are wishing away your twin flame be careful what you wish for if you are wishing away your divine counterpart a spouse be careful what you wish for if you are releasing this person be careful what you wish for and please and watch your actions okay if you don't know about mars retrograde mercury retrograde i'm telling you this contract why is the page of pentacles here two of pentacles so i feel like this is three of pentacles, okay? So that you're working, um, you could be in a third party situation. You, you could be trying to choose between two people here. You're trying to make a decision between two people here. I feel like it's two earth signs, okay? Um, it could be a soulmate and a twin you're trying to choose between. You're trying to release a twin maybe to be with a soulmate or vice versa. Okay, but uh, this is, the two of pentacles is management, okay? So this is like management. You're managing, this could be you managing your businesses, managing uh, two businesses here. Okay, you could be dropping a business or releasing yourself from a business partner. Let's see what the hidden influences are for you, fire sign. Get more clarity. You have the seven of cups in the reverse, snapping back to reality, okay? Yeah, you're, you're coming, you're not living in a dream world anymore, okay? I feel like someone here too had many, many options. And I feel like someone here is juggling many options. If not many options, at least two. You're still juggling, okay? I feel like um, also two, you're juggling, you're still here juggling jobs. And I feel like the Aquarius moon really put shit into action for you. It really pushed it into action. Also, too, could have pushed it into perspective. Something that you were wishing for, hoping for, praying for, it's here. It's it's coming to fruition. Um, and I feel like you're very anxious for this to happen. So I feel like you're making very hasty moves. You're moving without thinking. Okay. Um, just be mindful that Mars is in retrograde. <laughs> just be mindful that Mercury is in retrograde. Just be mindful that Neptune's in re retrograde. Okay. So your emotions are gonna change. Your feelings are gonna change. Your communication is gonna change, all right? So like, like, 
making shit solid, you know, putting shit on paper, I understand, okay? But it's like, don't forget, shit is gonna change, okay? Like, it's gonna change, so don't say I didn't warn you, all right? Let's see what the, let's consult the oracle, but I feel like somebody is realizing their dreams. Somebody is realizing their goals here, most definitely, all right? Um, I feel like, too, here, somebody is very skilled, a very skilled mechanic. Somebody here is a very skilled inventor. Somebody has a... Uh, a genius okay somebody here, like i said aquarius rising somebody here is a genius like for real a fire sign you could be the aquarius rising or you could be dealing with somebody with an aquarius rising aquarius moon but somebody here is like purebred born like genius like it's in their blood with the emperor here yes yeah, like this is somebody who comes from royal genetic a uh, royal genetic background i'm talking about galactically somebody has a, a royal galactic background all right fire sign Someone here is a genius, brilliant mind, brilliant inventor, okay? Brilliant with their hands, okay? Somebody here is very good with their hands, okay? Somebody, I'm getting a masseuse. Somebody's a masseuse as well. But I feel like somebody here is, a, is an apprentice, all right? Working with other people, some type of, some, some type of art. Somebody's some type of artist. Let's see what the oracle has to say. But you are managing this well, though. I feel like this. You you are new. At, you are also new at managing this as well. This is something new for you, fire sign that you're managing. Okay, but I feel like you're doing well at it. You're very good at it out here. You're you're what you, whatever you do, fire sign. You are amazing at what you do. A master. Okay, you are becoming a master. But I'm telling you, this has to do with paperwork. Something you're signing. Just be careful. The oracle is saying nature. Someone here is very connected to nature. Like I said, somebody here has a very royal galactic background. Somebody here comes from like a, um, like somebody here was a shaman in their last life, a druid, okay, um, an omic. Um, somebody was in that family, a, Celt a Celtic, okay. Somebody has that background in their family here. So like, check, check your, check, check your, you could be, check your ancestry, check your DNA, okay, because like this is like so like I'm telling when I say bro, when I say gen, genius talking about genius as as far as genetics genetics galactic genetics, okay so someone here comes from a very royal family like I'm just all gonna say someone here is very much connected to nature okay somebody here is a psychic a born a natural a natural born psychic a natural born healer as well you are a natural that's basically what it's saying whatever this is you are natural you are born to do this all right. Now you may even even you may be even feeling like you can't move the way you want to move like you know like you could be feeling like held back or like you can't things are not happening as, as fast as you want them to but it's because Mars is retrograde it's okay it's all right just take your time all right take your time use this time to nurture your creativity use this time to nurture your ideas okay nurture your in, your in, your investments your inventions okay. Nurture your creative endeavors. Don't try to don't try to be don't try to speak through something. Just let it happen naturally. Let it go with the flow. You have mystic at the bottom of the deck. Clouds. A natural born. This is this is this is someone who's a natural psychic here. But someone here is doubting their abilities. Someone here is doubting their 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 psychic abilities. But it's in your blood. It's in your blood. Like it doesn't matter if you 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 cannot run from this. It's in your blood. It's in your, it's in your DNA. All right, fire sign. So good shit. All right, I hope this helps you. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.